Thank you very hear, much, please, Brett. I'm glad to hear Roger acknowledge that we should do, as he put it, whatever we can per, to prevent Iran from going nuclear. It's just depressing to me that whatever we can basically means sitting down at a table and more or less begging them through inducements to uh, desist from, from the course they're, uh, they're on. My view of whatever we can is whatever we can. This is a massively serious threat that we would face in the United States, that Israelis would face in Israel, that Arabs would face in the Arab world, and above all, I repeat, above all, that Iranians would face if their regime were to become so emboldened by possession of the nuclear fuel cycle of a nuclear weapon. Now, um, there's been a somewhat strange char character to, to this, this debate that Roger and I have had because um, supposedly he's uh, the liberal and I'm the neoconservative. But in fact, my objection to Iran's acquisition, my fundamental objection to Iran's acquisition of a bomb is not really a strategic objection. It's not an American or a pro-Israel uh, uh, objection. Uh, it's, not, uh, um, it's, it's fundamentally a liberal objection. Now, there was a time when liberals believed that liberalism had to be fought for, liberalism had to be defended, that liberalism was not just a strategy of virtuous surrender to tyrants, whether they were totalitarian or authoritarian or messianic or sort of messianic or potentially messianic but with interesting nuances and twists that, uh, that Roger has, uh, has uh, um, described so, so admirably in, in his comp. The certain sets of values have to be defended and when they are so uh, grievously uh, violated in a country like Iran, that calls for us to respond and respond forcefully. It is not incidental to the character of the regime that they say that a woman is legally worth half what a man is. It is not incidental to the character of the regime that they hang homosexuals and Ahmadinejad, who really understands chutzpah, goes to Columbia University of all places to say that homosexuals don't exist uh, uh, don't exist in, in, in Iran. It is not incidental to the character of the regime that they call for Israel to be wiped off the map. It is not incidental that they deny the Holocaust. This is the these are the central facts of the regime. This is a regime that understands itself above all ideologically and theologically, and we deceive ourselves. We deceive ourselves by saying those are mere words. Roger and I have one more thing in common. We are in the words business. We believe that words matter. We would like to believe that our words matter in print and what we're saying, as well as uh, what, what we're saying up here on, on the stage. Well, it is incumbent on all of you to take, that, to, to take that to heart and to realize that Iranian words matter too. And if you just treat them as a kind of um, meaningless obscenity, a sort of form of political pornography, you are setting yourself up for grave dangers. That is, has been the gravamen of my argument this morning, and I thank you for listening to me.